Four years ago, I spent three months traveling northern India. My favorite states were Rajasthan, Punjab, and Uttar Pradesh, and I thought all of India was like that. But three weeks ago, I returned to a completely new India. This time, we road trip South India, from Kochi to Madurai to Pondicherry to Chennai. I'm still trying to gather my thoughts on how different the North is from the South. It is early morning here in Kolam. We're at the market and everybody's setting up their shop and everyone's so friendly, it's amazing. But overall, I love them both for different reasons. Let's find out how they're different. I find the Southern states to be safer, more orderly, and more relaxed, whereas the North has more chaotic streets with so many honking horns and cows blocking the road. The south is extremely green and tropical, almost like I never left Thailand. The north feels more like storybook India with the most beautiful landscapes of desert and mountains. It's like you traveled back in time. The people and culture from north to south could not be any different. Thank you. North Indians are generally taller and whiter, whereas southerners are shorter and darker. While every region in India has their own dialect, I'm here in India and thankfully my friend was able to give me a feature in the newspaper. Unfortunately, I can't read it because it's all in the local language. The most common language of Hindi is spoken almost exclusively in the north. In terms of cuisine, South Indian food is spicier and uses more coconuts and rice. North Indian food is usually the one that you've eaten abroad, butter chicken and thick curries with naan. But if there's one thing found all over India, it's delicious chai, which I drink every morning. The best way to think about India is like Europe. When you move from one Indian state to the next, it's like hopping European countries. The language changes, the religion changes, the food, the people, the culture, and so on. I love both North and South India equally, and I hope now you can understand their differences. I'm already planning my next trip, and I need your suggestions for where to go, so please comment below. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. It's electric, it's sexy, it's tasty, it's confusing, but above all, it's futuristic. The Japanese are innovators. They somehow figured